Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Manu Shukla and watching your tech channel My Code Works. So guys, in this video, we are going to solve another problem which is being asked in Amazon, Flipkart and Microsoft. So let's start guys. Today problem is based on array and uh, I hope you know this problem. If not, then let me explain the problem. Okay. So the problem is bitonic or bitonic point we need to find in an array. So you will be given a input as a number of the size of the array and a array as an input right so if you see here the input array size is 9 and elements are 1 15 25 45 42 21 17 12 11 and the output is it is coming as 45 okay so if you find this out of these all elements 45 is the maximum of this whole array and after this strictly decreasing array is there till that it was increasing after this strictly decreasing and here only we can find out so uh, this will be the bitonic point for this array let's find out another array here so another case is 145 47 55 right so you are given array uh, five element inside this if you see first four elements are strictly increasing and after that after 50 we are getting decreasing right so the 50 is the bitonic point for this array now if suppose there is a one case where all the elements are strictly increasing there is no decrement in the array then the last element will be the max element of this array and that will be the bitonic point for the array so let's solve this problem how we are going to solve this problem first we'll try with and for this we need to solve in big o of log n and big o of one space complexity time complexity should be big o of log n not in big o of n okay so if log n definitely we need to reduce the number of iteration throughout the array log n basically half of the array right half of the array so we are iterating over this much and later on we can find that there is a uh, there is no need of checking later on the point so we are iterating over half of the array and we can found the solution right so you have to write in this way that we are just need to iterate over the half of the array and we need to come up with the solution okay so how we can achieve this or we can solve this problem so as of now i will take this as an array directly int okay and directly i will take as an input here and we'll try to solve the problem okay so we have one input array and let me okay so what we can do here we need to find the max of this array but uh, that should be a so let's do one thing int m equals to array of zero i will assign array of zero as the max of this array as of now and we'll iterate over it okay after that i will just iterate over this array int i equals to one because i already used one element from this so i will iterate over from this element okay first index till then array of the size array dot length okay i plus plus now what i need to check if the current element so if this index element is greater than this first what we stored here then we need to update the m value if array of i is greater than m then m equals to array of i okay we are updating here if the current element is greater than the already uh, assigned element max element right so now for checking bitonic point what we can say here till 45 it is increasing and after that just decrement like uh, this is the max and this is the lowest so there is a difference here right so we are going to compare these two values and if there is a uh, change right if uh, the next element is less uh, less than the current element then there is a bitonic point we need to find the current element okay we need to check if array of i 
if array of i okay so array of i is greater okay array of i is less than okay so current element is uh okay so what we can do here Hmm, yeah if array of i is less than array of i minus 1 then max will be the array of i okay if uh, okay max will be the array of i minus 1 and then break it okay there is a bitonic point will break it let's uh, print out the print the m value here and let's run it once we'll check what we value we are getting here okay so we got the 45 here uh, let me try with this if, uh, array okay let me try with this array and we should get output as a 50 here we got and let me try with this okay let me try with this uh, only four what we are getting let's see okay we are getting 50 right so this is the solution for this problem we got the bitonic point using this logic so first thing is we are just checking whether the current element is greater than the max element then we are assigning the max element as a current element and then we are checking that current element is less than the previous element means till now we have max element right or we can check the m here array of i minus 1 means we can check also m as a m also we can check so till what we are checking the current element is less than the previous element then the previous element will be the max and we are going to break that will be the bitonic point and there we are going to break the flow and that will be the our expected output i hope you understood this problem and solution also if you have any doubt please reach out through comment section i will try to help you out and i know there are a lot of uh, optimized solution for this also but the basic good force and the optimized itself it is the uh, whatever i just uh, wrote the logic so if you have any other solution we can know and let me know in the comment i will try to implement in next video thanks for watching please share and support and like and click on bell icon for more updates thanks for watching